Hi there everybody, and welcome to my buy. This is where I show you what I've bought, why I've bought it, and how much did it cost me. So, I'm going to start this off with a bit of a special thing. I'm going to do, which I think a lot of people are going to find annoying, a brief math lesson. So, let's just, uh, and if you can get this, well done. But here's the math lesson. Do you get it? No? Okay, let me put it in a question. Which is the best number? You know, which is a greater number? Do you still not know? Or would you say 64? Why would you say 64? Well, one, it is higher than 32 and 16. And even put them together, I still think it's higher. But, that's not the reason. The reason for this is the same of, is a very daft reason. It was an advertisement for one product. Yes, an advertisement. Where the slogan was, the, was known as do the math. Does it sound familiar yet? Well, if it does, then you know what I've bought. And this is what I've bought. An Atari Jaguar console. An actual console. That's a, good, that's a great way to start this episode, isn't it? But it's not just the console I bought. I also bought Doom. All this for a start. How's that? Now, obviously, some people are going to be asking the question, why did I buy this? Well, this is a very good answer. Because Atari was a really good company when it started off. I mean, we had... There were flops like the 5200s and this. But... The fact is that Atari had the idea of going from numbers to animals and it sort of worked and it didn't work. But there was nothing against a Jaguar. I mean, it's a Jaguar. What was the old... St I mean, in the day, you know, in today's standards, it'd be like, you want to play on the PlayStation? You want to play on the Xbox? Back then, when this came out, it was a case of, you want to play some Jag? You couldn't get any cooler than that. But, for one, I bought it because I really love the Jaguar. It's a console that sort of, like, lived in its infamy for being for the wrong reasons. It, Yeah, it wasn't actually 64-bit. It was something like 32-bit. But the processing equipment added together made it 64-bit, which was a bit daft. But saying that, Atari did have some positives. And there were positives to go with. I mean, it had games like, like I said, Doom, which was fantastic. The downside was there was no music. Which means if you had a Doom soundtrack on in today's standards on your iPod, just listen to that, play the game, or put it in like on a CD, put it in a speaker system, and there you go, you still got some Doom. Some proper Doom. Uh there weren't much to it, because some of the games were good, some of them were bad, because there were games like Checkered Line, which was pretty much like Virtual Racer. There was games like Brutal Sport Football, which is almost like Speedball. And the modern day equivalent would be Blood Bowl. And there was Alien vs. Predator, which is a game I am looking for, because I actually do love the Alien vs. Predator games, because the first one I did play was the PC version but it was Alien vs Predator 2, not 1. And this one is apparently meant to be the same as the PC version. Whether that's true or not, that's another story. So, that's the reason why I bought a Jaguar. I wanted one, and what another thing, I actually found out that I can actually record footage from it. So, I might actually do some Atari Jaguar vids. That might be a positive as well. An extra console to... Put on the notch. Uh, how much did I pay for all this? Well, believe it or not, this was actually a good price. 
I got the console, which came obviously with the console, all the cables, and one controller, plus Doom, all for 80 quid. That's right, 80 pounds. I could not ask for a better price than that. Especially since when I've looked for pre-owned consoles, and this was like in the box, as you can tell. But most of the prices I've seen for an Atari Jaguar console, just the console, no cables, no controller, just the plain console, has been around two, about 120 quid to 200 pounds. That is a lot, just for essentially a shell. So, sadly there's not much I can say against the Jaguar. It just depends on where you look for, like the buyer... If he's a good person, you know, it's the buyer's asking the right price for it, buy it. But here, Atari Jaguar and Doom, I could not ask for a better console. So, that's episode one of my buy. So, I could not ask for a better console to start off, especially with this episode. Well, thank you for watching, and this has been my buy.